former Michigan head coach Lloyd Carr is with us. Uh, Lloyd, how you doing? I'm doing okay, Dennis. No complaints. How about you? Uh, well, I got a lot of complaints, but, you know, uh, nobody wants to hear what I have to complain <laughs> about. You know, uh, but it, it's been a lot of fun the way Michigan has played this year. And, you know, you were a part of it uh, this season back in, in mid-October, the October 15th game against Penn State. You came up and you had a, a week-long, really a week-long celebration. I saw all the pictures. I saw you down on the field. It was the the Lloyd Carr tunnel dedication tell me what that weekend was like and and what it meant to you well it was um you know a, a wonderful uh, weekend or week to um, be able to celebrate with uh, so many players who came back for our reunion of the 97 team and uh, of course the tunnel naming was something that um I want to thank Ward Manuel and the Board of Regents, and uh, but most of all, all those guys that I coached down through the years. Um, my name is up there because of the way they played the game and the way they represented the University of Michigan. So um, it was a great week. Was there one part that was more emotional than the other? Like, you know, they, they, they pulled the, uh, you know, the captains got up there. I saw, you know, uh, them, them, them take down the, the, the banner and then it had your name there. Or, or during the game when you had the players come out there, was any particular part more emotional than another part? Well, it was all special. And especially the, at the tunnel, John Jansen and Eric Mays got up on the, uh, their ladders. I was scared to death they were going to fall off, but uh, they uh, it was it was you know great leadership uh, from those two guys for that team. Uh, and of course, uh, there's nothing like uh, going down that tunnel and out onto the field and uh, the welcome that we received uh, when they recognized the '97 team. That was. Uh, uh, really special, and where did those twenty five years go? <laughs> but that was great fun. Well, I, I can tell you, it kind of brings it around full circle. You know, ninety seven, you went twelve and zero, and it just so happened this past Saturday, this Michigan team for the first time since that ninety seven team, your team, uh, they they went 12 and 0. I, I don't know that. Uh, what do you think? Did, did you think that this team was special when you, you saw them back there in mid October? And I don't know. What, what do you make of Jim Harbaugh's 2022 team? Well, I think it's, uh, you know, what this team did, and especially uh, with the injuries we have, you always have some injuries, but this team was able to overplay or outplay um, uh, a schedule that was uh, set up where Jim took advantage in terms of the way he handled the quarterback situation uh, I thought was great. I thought um, the key to the whole season for me came down to the last uh, drive of the Illinois game uh, because everything was on the line and uh, Jim punted the ball. He, he trusted his defense there with a couple of minutes to go, and uh, he punted the ball away, and his defense uh, came up with a big stop. And then um, that offense, this uh, McCarthy kid, really, I thought, uh, he learned some, uh, and, uh, you know, he has confidence coming out of that game because he took his team down uh, under the greatest of pressure, uh, behind, uh, the clock is running and, uh, uh, that team developed, they, they, uh, caught some passes and he made a, he just uh, had to leave that game feeling that, uh, he was ready to take on all comers. And certainly this last Saturday in Columbus, uh, he showed that. Well, just a minute or two more with former 
Michigan head coach Lloyd Carr, a, a Hall of Famer in 2011, five Big Ten titles, and Michigan goes for back-to-back titles for the first time since 2003 and 2004. And, you know, the the all the stuff with 97, undefeated, Quorum was in line. If he didn't get injured in that Illinois game, maybe he would have won the Heisman Trophy with a great performance uh, against Ohio State. And then the other thing, you know, you mentioned with the quarterbacks, you know, there was a part in the summer – where I hear Jim Harbaugh, you know, he says, I, I love them both. And I thought, wow, Lloyd Carr, you know, he used to always say he <laughs> liked him both. And then at the one point, you know, he, I don't know if he was being criticized or if he was just being asked about the running game. And he said, we're going to run the ball or we're going to die trying. I said, well, this is Lloyd Carr, you know, up there. And I just want to ask you about that aspect. Lloyd, football's changed over, you know, the last 25 years or or 2007, even since you were on the sideline, but you always had to defend throwing the football and you used to declare that, you know, you actually liked throwing the ball. And yet this team, this Michigan team, they uh, their identity is running the football. And I wanted to know how much you like that, that they, uh, they have an identity of running the football. Well, I think it goes back, you know, Jim and I both uh, were uh, spent a important parts of our careers uh, with Bo Schembechler and uh, his philosophy there has carried on. I think uh, people have asked me about the same question you ask. Uh, <laughs> you can run for 270 yards a game. And if you have the backs that we have, uh, you're going to, you're going to have a chance to win a championship. And, uh, as I mentioned before, they did it with unbelievable number of uh, uh, injuries. And uh, I think Jim Harbaugh did uh, a miraculous job of uh, taking a group of guys and uh, the way he handled the quarterbacks and the way that uh, he's built this team. It's just, uh, you know, you talk about recruiting and I don't, I don't follow the, you know, all the number of, uh, you know, the, the, the part of it that uh, really impressed me is the way game after game, uh, look at Schoonover, look at uh, Corum. I mean, those are great players, and uh, they didn't miss a beat. So uh, you're doing, they're doing a great job of recruiting and recognizing uh, you know what? What they what they want, the type of guy they want. Jim talks about character and and uh, the way that uh, he loves what goes on in his locker room. So uh, I I uh, I think if you can run the football like that, you saw what happened in Columbus. They put nine guys up there, and that uh, puts the deep part of the field. Um, you know, there's only three back there as opposed to four. And when you can do that, uh, the way they, uh, their game plan going in there, those play, those big play, uh, the, you know, those big plays kill a defense. They kill your morale. And, uh, so I think, uh, it's a team for the ages, uh, you know. I mean, this this team, well, what they have in front of them is uh, it's a new season. But um, I think I feel great about it. And I am uh, I look down on that field and I like everything I see. Michigan, Purdue tomorrow in Indianapolis. Michigan going for, for 13-0 and and getting back to the college football playoff for two years in a row. Lloyd Carr was head coach at Michigan for 13 years. What's it like? You you know you mentioned that Ohio State game. I mean, what's it like uh, when, when you know you've been on the sideline for so many times for games and and everything? There's such an intensity. I know you know playing down in Columbus. What's it like for you watching the game when uh, this past Saturday when when Michigan's down there you know playing in front of uh, you know ninety thousand in scarlet and gray? What are your emotions like? What's it like watching them? <laughs> well, uh, you know I never. Uh, I, I had the great opportunity to play in that coach in that game for 27 years. And, uh, 
uh, and now that I'm retired and I follow it, uh, I, uh, the excitement uh, is still there. I mean, it's you're counting the minutes, you're watching all the pregame shows and the band and all the things that make it so special. And uh, and when they when toe meets leather, as Bo used to say. Uh, you knew you were about to see something really special. And, you know, we, uh, in, in uh, 06, uh, we were undefeated. Ohio State was undefeated. And uh, we were playing in Columbus. And uh, so uh, the, 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 those games, uh, now that we have an opportunity uh, this year, uh, to win another national championship, so uh, it's exciting. I can tell you, I can tell you that. Yeah, that game was uh, declared the game of the century, and then this last Saturday was the game of the century too. And you know, twenty-two years into the century and everything, I got two quick hitters for you. And uh, you know, you mentioned recruiting, and you don't follow it, but I was following one recruitment really close, and that was with your grandson and, and I don't, you know, congratulations to you and, and to CJ, but I, I just wanted to ask you if in a couple years, it turned out that Michigan was playing Notre Dame in the college football playoffs. And, and, and you know, what would that be like for you? Are, are you hoping that that happens? Like, you know, you're, you root for both teams now. And you know, what, what do you think that would be like for you? <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> You know, first of all, uh, my my grandson, if he's happy, uh, I'm happy, and uh, he he's a, he's a, a great kid, and he he made a decision, and, uh, and that's uh, that's we'll we'll only know, or I'll only know when we get there, but. Uh, uh, I'll be rooting for CJ Carr wherever he is, and and uh, you know, uh, and and what goes with it with uh, you know, you're he grew up here, and uh, uh, you know the recruiting process. He went all over the country and had a lot of people in here, and it was uh, not an easy decision in some ways, but. He fell in love with the place, and uh, but I'll never cheer against Michigan. Uh, I mean, I'll be for CJ Carr, and uh, that's uh, that's that's what I know right now. But uh, <laughs> we'll see. I hope it happens. It'll be great for CJ. It'll be great for you. It'll be great for Michigan. So it'll make a great story. And with that, my final question is like, is do you have a book coming out? I, somebody had told me that you were, were writing a book. It, it, is, is, is that forthcoming? No. Or, no. Okay. All right. No. Uh, um, you can squash uh, that. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, anything else that you would, would point out? Um, charitable endeavors anything that you know that um, michigan fans listening to you can get involved with lloyd well the chat the chat of foundation um the support we've had from um, uh, the state of michigan and all over this country uh has really enabled us to uh do some things that is going to lead uh to a uh, a time when DIPG will not be uh, a death sentence for these kids and their families. So uh, that's been a big part of uh, my life since I retired. And uh, I just want to say thanks to the thousands and thousands of people who have donated to Chat Tough and who have worked uh, with the foundation to enable us to make a lot of progress. We've got some great doctors and researchers who have uh, brought us a long ways in a short time. So thank you and thank you and thank you. That's a great legacy, uh, what you're doing. And um, uh, I, I like following it and supporting it. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of uh, your family 
and uh, of Chad Tuff. So great job there. All right, Lloyd, uh, enjoy the game tomorrow. Thanks so much for spending a couple minutes with us here on the Maze and Blue Review. It's like old times, Dennis. Have a good one. <laughs> hey, take care. Enjoy the game tomorrow. Thank you. Go Blue.